Alright guys, this is Jay Lin from the MacroDiaries.com. Today's lesson is the uh, Hello World lesson of uh, DBA programming. This is an intro lesson. Basically what we're going to do, if you are on the uh, website, you can, you can follow along. We're going to learn how to code the famous Hello World program using VBA and Excel, that is, write a macro. And when it is run, it will display a message box with the phrase, hello world, as you can see from the pictures online. So if you want to follow along, I have a text lesson here, uh, but this is obviously the video lesson. So let's flip over to Excel. Open up your uh, VBA editor by holding down out and clicking uh, F11. And it'll bring up your VBA editor. Uh, we can go more in depth on this editor in another lesson, but right now we're just going to write this program. So just keep following along and we'll fill in the blanks for you later. So first thing you need to do, scroll over here where uh, this little drop down menu is about like the second icon over. And uh, click the drop down and then click on module. And this is creating a new module. Let's go ahead and rename this module, clicking down here. Module 1, delete, delete, delete. Let's call it Hello World. It has to be one word, you can't have uh, any spaces in it. Get this uh, to the screen. So, right now we're in our Hello World module, that's what this is here. And inside of a module, you can write VBA programs. You can write a macro inside a module. Um, technically you can also write them inside of the sheet itself. That's what these objects are. But it's generally considered wisest to do inside of a module. And again, we'll get into these details later. For now let's just write this program. So inside the Hello World module go ahead and write sub space hello capital W O R L D. Hello world. Hit enter, and it automatically creates this uh, end sub line for you. Basically, it, it tells it it's the end of the program. It's sub stands for sub procedure, uh, which is effectively the start of some particular program. Hello world is the name, and you need the parentheses after it to be a valid name. And again, we'll get into those details later. Hit tab. This helps keep your code readable. Go ahead and type in MSG box, which is short for message box. And open parentheses. Okay, you'll, you'll get this little thing pop up. Um, the first thing asked ask for is the prompt. And then the rest of these things have brackets around them. And as a general rule, when you see brackets in a pop up box like this, it means they're optional fields which means you don't need to put anything in there. Um, the only thing that's required is your prompt. So type quotes and type in hello world. Then the other set of quotes. Let's go ahead and close out with the parentheses. And uh, I set the down arrow. And you can see it kind of formats it. Um, VBA automatically does that kind of cleans it up, keeps things looking nice, which is, is helpful at times. Okay, great. So we actually have a program here, and we can run this program by hitting the little play button or by hitting F5. So either hit F5 or hit the button, and you'll see a pop-up box that says Hello World. You'll see the title is Microsoft Excel, and it's the standard size, standard button. Just click OK. And that's that's it. You did it. You ran a program in Alter F5. Just a shortcut. Shortcuts are generally good to know. I support shortcuts. But okay. Uh, that pretty much does it with this instantiation of uh, Macro Diaries uh, video lesson. As always, you can become a premium subscriber. That is, uh, go online and see the uh, private diary and inside that um, you know I always try to give these challenge problems down here at the bottom 
uh, will give you the answer to the challenge problem and also in VB itself you'll see these other things like um, like I just showed you inside the message box you get all these other bracketed options and uh, we'll go into some more detail as to what some of those do try to really give you a full understanding of the code we worked with today but otherwise hope you learned something hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again. Thanks.